Hey guys, it's me, Vixxon23, with some more location-specific team random weapon gameplay. We've got team garage, team garage, team however you want to say it. This was not easy. I'll leave it at that. Nuketown's a hectic map. As it is, we've got a really confined space to actually get kills from the enemy team. We're just spamming EMP grenades like nutters. And usually, literally, we'd give up at this point. I think, you know, there was a point where we'd been EMT'd back to back like three times in a row. And usually, you'd just be like, screw this, I'm gone. But no, we decided to stick it out. I mean, look at this. The EMP nades are constant. Really regretting putting an optic sight on. Would have been better with the iron sight. But we uh, struggled through it. And uh, I guess, again, it shows you guys kind of a more typical attempt of our doing something like this so I hope you enjoy the gameplay and it actually feels like again a while since I've done a commentary look at those EMP oh nades like mad feels like it has been quite some time so uh, yeah just looking forward to getting back into it kind of finished the team comeback session for a while um, we've had quite a lot of attempts at the comeback from 7000 no luck whatsoever I mean everyone getting a 15 plus kill death ratio is something that just doesn't happen very often maybe I'll have to put together an epic team and oh check out that random triple feed right there but anyway enough about the gameplay and the videos and into the topic what I want to talk about in this video so what I'm going to be discussing is the concept of Google Glass and what it will do to our brains because it's an interesting one if you guys don't already know, I don't know how you wouldn't already know, but basically Google are developing um, some Google Glasses, well actually they're um, you know, very close to actually being released um, for testing. And basically, they're glasses with a head-up display and augmented reality that you can basically use like a smartphone. You can take pictures, you can get information, you can um, you know, do all sorts of stuff just like you would do on your smartphone, except it's there in real time. Um, projected, well, displayed on glasses in front of your eyes. And it's, you know, the first step towards kind of a sci-fi, cyborg-like type of system. Because when you think about it, you're going to be able to access so much information just in front of you on your glasses. You think that the way smartphones have come and, you know, developed even in our lifetime, I can't really imagine going without my, um, my iPhone, which is my smartphone of choice. I, you know, I do all my browsing on there. I look up stuff on there. I text people. I tweet my fans and friends and go on Facebook and uh, look up anything Whoa, I, I could ever imagine needing to know or find out and just without it I do kind of feel a little bit lost and uh, basically what is being said is that will Google Glass even add to this um, this situation whereby people aren't actually even kind of in the real world if you think about the distraction you know people talking on phones going across roads getting distracted not seeing a car and getting hit you know when you've got the information in front of your eyes at all the time how is that gonna play out you know you could be sat there having a conversation with someone else wearing google glass you don't know if they're actually just talking to you or whether they're you know reading a newspaper article reading a text on their google glass it's kind of presents a weird situation and uh, the way it could go could be crazy. I mean, I guess there'd never be a sense of aloneness. You could just, you know, um, video call someone, have them up on your screen when you're walking along. Would it take away the need for actual real-life interactions between humans? That's uh, the interesting thing to think about. Because actually, when you look at it, people could completely, entirely lose their attention span. Because if you've got all of this technology ready in front of you all of the time, you know, why would there be a need for spending time not doing things? You know, people would maybe lose their attention span, lose any sense of free time. And that could be quite a negative thing. But in the same way, it could be a very positive thing. It could increase productivity um, across people. But at the same time, you've got to think from a perspective that people could become far too reliant on technology like this and just pulling up information instantly in real time. You know, will there be a time when we really don't need to remember any kind of information, every bit of information we could possibly need can just be delivered to us on demand through a piece of technology like Google Glass. Those are just some of the kind of questions and ideas and thoughts I wanted to throw out to you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this kind of stuff. Where do you think Google Glass and augmented reality technology stuff like that will take us in the future? Will it lead to a world that's any better than the one we live in currently or any worse? It's interesting, it's something that's gonna happen. Change is the only constant in life, but whether it's positive or negative, will we be the decider of that or will it be out of our control? Will people become really reliant on the information that is provided to them and lose a sense of 
developing their own information. Anyway, this is the kill cam here. It cut out for some strange reason. Those two guys did get killed in the back. But anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. Check out some other random weapon episodes by clicking the links on screen. Leave some thoughts in the comment section. And I will see you guys on my next video.